Good morning, people watching on 65. Lisa Boyce, I'm going to give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ shed his blood for all of our sins. <clears throat> Past, present, and future was buried and rose again on the third day according to scripture. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone, period. Not of ourselves, not of works. Least any man should boast. It is grace, something we didn't earn, something we don't deserve, that God gave his only begotten son that whosoever... You and I are whosoever. Believe in him. Will not perish, but have eternal life. How do you come to that? You admit you're a sinner in need of Christ. The moment you put your faith and trust in Christ and his blood, the moment you accept Christ as Savior, not only are you saved, but you are justified by the blood of Jesus. Rapture ready, which is going to happen at any time, and sealed until the day of redemption, which means you cannot and will not lose your salvation. The Holy Spirit will indwell in you. The Holy Spirit will lead you, guide you, minister to you, speak to you, teach you, change you. He's your best friend. That's what he does. So, California, I, I, this is unprecedented, what's going on right now in California. This is off the New York Post. Californians climb trees, ditch cars to escape the flooding and run from mudslides brought on by this tropical storm. This is really bad. Then you have the effects from that earthquake. Although the earthquake wasn't that bad, it was a 5.5. So, but this is saying right now that panic-stricken Californians race to escape mudslides and climb trees to safety from dangerous floodwaters as historic tropical storm Hillary barreled through the region leaving scenes of devastation in its wake. There's all kinds. I'm going to link this in the description box. I have to go to the gym. So there's all kinds of pictures here and everything with this. Um, the Golden State's first tropical storm in 84 years. This is why I'm saying they were not ready for this. Hillary drenched some areas with more than half the average year's worth of rain, creating dangerous driving condition, conditions that caused, you have to look at this, the free, the highways are awful. They've caused some of these cars to hydroplane, spin out of control, Harrowing video shot by on a northbound 5 freeway in uh, Castaic, Los Angeles County shows multiple vehicles fishtailing and hydroplaning on a flooded road. See, we, like I said last night, we are used to that here. They're not. They don't know what to do if they see a flooded street. They don't know to, well, do I drive through it or what? They, they're not, they don't know. Several cars, some, uh, it would appear, you know what, you, you would think, but, yeah. A white van is seen spinning out of control nearly a, um, and nearly wrecking on this uh, slick blacktop. Several cars, some appearing damaged. Um, are seen resting on the shoulder of the freeway with one of them caught on video getting out. Getting on uh, video getting out. Getting, oh my God, getting hit actually by an out of control silver SUV. Wow. Moments later, a maroon SUV zooms by and tires screeching as the driver struggles to maintain control. And another thing, their freeways and their streets are not prepared for all this. It said, uh, it's a lot of video here. It says, gushing flood water and uh, debris seen during Tropical Storm Hillary in the Angeles National Park. 
Forecasters warn of dangerous flash floods across L.A. and Ventura counties, and there were reports of rain and debris washing out roadways and forcing motorists to ditch their cars stranded in the standing water. Meanwhile, a mudslide, mudslides sent firefighters in San Bernardino counties running for cover. And these are firefighters. Desperate to get away from huge boulders barreling toward them. Vehicles were seen hydroplaning. Crews at the fire station Ninety nine in the Forest uh, Falls area heard a loud noise Sunday and ventured outside to check it out, discovering a mudslide racing down the hill. Firefighters sought to outrun the mudslide as it re- uprooted trees and anything in its path. They ultimately found refuge back at their fire station across the road, but became stranded by the debris. There were no reports of injuries. So, yeah, this this is bad. This is really bad. Um, it says, elsewhere in San Bernardino County, flash floods reportedly forced some residents in Seven Oaks to flee their homes and climb trees for safety. And looking at these roads, I I don't know what to say about this. It's not good. Not good at all. Um, the storm was projected to weaken as it continued churning northward over California and into Nevada. But Richard Pash, a, a hurricane specialist with the National Hurricane Center, said very, very heavy rain and strong winds are still likely. The National Hurricane Center in Miami downgraded Hillary to a post-tropical storm in its early Monday advisory, but warned that continued life-threatening and locally catastrophic flooding was expected over portions of southwestern U.S. throughout the day. The Los Angeles Unified School District, the nation's largest school system, said all campuses would be closed today. San Diego schools postponed the first day of classes to tomorrow. I don't even know whether they're going to be there tomorrow. Um... Fire crews rescued 13 people from knee-deep water in a homeless encampment along the rising San Diego River and pumped floodwaters out of the emergency room at Eisenhower Medical Center in Rancho Mirage. Now, let me say something. I don't know, again, I don't know, God is still in control. Okay, first of all, I don't care whether man tries to manipulate the weather or whether they try to manipulate anything else. God is still in control. This is part of what's coming judgment. This is part of it. And we're seeing it on a a level unlike anything you've ever seen. First, Hawaii. Washington State. Then this. So, if people think that the church is going to be subject to much more of this, they're sadly mistaken. They're mistaken because the rapture is going to happen. It's throughout scripture. And like I said, this is part of judgment. It is. It's part of what's coming. We're not seeing the whole thing. 
because the whole thing is being prepared for the great tribulation period, which we're not in. And I know to some people that looks like it, but it's not. This is going to be, this is going to look like a picnic compared to what's coming. Just saying. It says, initially classified as a hurricane, Hillary wreaked havoc in Southern California throughout the day Sunday, drenching the region from the coast to the desert resort of Palm Springs and Inland Islands. It says in San Diego, Sunday marked the wettest day on record with 1.82 inches. The National Weather Service said in a post previously or uh, on X, um, known as Twitter, the previous record was on August 17, 1977 with 1.8 inches. Post-Hurricane uh, Doreen dumped a record of uh, rainfall on that area. Meanwhile, Palm Springs saw, saw nearly 3.18 inches of rain Sunday evening. The local police department warned that 911 lines are totally out. They're down. The highest total of rain was recorded at Lewis Ranch with 7.4 inches, followed by Leona Valley, which noticed 6.97 inches by early Monday, the National Weather Service reported. Before Hillary ever made its presence known in California, residents were rattled by a 5.1 magnitude earthquake 80 miles northwest of downtown LA. It was felt widely and was followed by aftershocks. And I, I mentioned that last night in the video I did last night. And, um, I had saw it on the uh, National Geographical survey thing. Uh, it says, and there are still surfers out there. It says, Me Mexican soldiers use bulldozers to dump trucks to clear tons of boulders and earth that clogged the streets. Power, power lines were toppled over. So this is really bad. This is real bad. So I'm going to link this in the description box. And I am going, If you know, I'll be back later. But if anything comes up beforehand, I'll be back on to give it to you. Thank you.